Hello and welcome to another episode of Coffee Fusion. This week we're going to look at developing a signature pour. Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Latte Art 102 series. We started this series off with the swan, and now we're going to talk about another signature pour uh, called the chuleta. Now signature pours mean different things to different people. Sometimes people call it a signature pour when it's a pour that they've created themselves. But I like to think of a signature pour as just a pour which uh, you kind of go to and really enjoy pouring and something that's a little bit different from those uh, classic pours. So much like this one, the chuleta is a pour that you uh, combine a few different styles of latte art. And as you might have guessed from the name, it's a combination of the tulip and the rosetta. So we're gonna start this one off the same way we start off all latte art, and that is by setting the canvas. Basically, you just wanna make sure that you have a nice uh, crema surface that you can pour your pattern onto. Okay, next up, we wanna start off this chuleta with four tulip bulbs. Things to bear in mind when you're pouring these bulbs, basically you want to make sure that these bulbs push down to the second half of the cup because you need to have room to pour the rest of your chuleta pattern. And just like any good tulip, if you can push these bulbs into the center of the previous bulb, you're going to get a nice symmetrical pattern. Once you push in your first four bulbs, you're going to push in a fifth bulb, but this time you're going to work your way back up the cup like a rosetta. This creates the middle rosetta part of your pattern. But as we reach the top of the cup, we're going to stop, push in one more bulb to create a heart at the top, then we're going to lift up and pull through to finish off the pattern. Now for this pattern, I recommend that you don't use milk which is too thin, because if your milk is too thin, you'll notice when you start to push your uh, rosetta and your uh, last heart in, that it'll all kind of push together. With slightly thicker milk, it will hold itself a lot better. Now the chill letter was a pour of mine which I first started pouring in the comps for 2012. And since then, I have kept pouring the chill letter, but I've reworked it a little bit. And this is the great thing about a good signature pour. As you kind of develop as a barista, you can kind of think about your pour and think about how you can add more to it to create more elements and make it more difficult. My more advanced version of this pour is also inspired by Junichi Yamaguchi, who uh, poured this ballerina. And uh, I've always loved this pattern and tried to kind of incorporate the style into my uh, more advanced version of the chuleta. So when you're pouring this advanced version of it, you start with that four bulb tulip base. But now you want to wrap two rosettas around the sides of the cup. And this time when you pour your heart bulb, you want to push it inside the rosettas so they wrap around it. And if you're feeling extra adventurous, you can push in a second bulb so you get a tulip style heart in the middle. This just goes to show that you can develop and redevelop a signature pour. Um, as you get better as a latte artist, you can think about how you can uh, make it more difficult and challenging for yourself. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you learned something while you were watching it. If you did, just click that like button because that really helps me. And if this is your first episode of Coffee Fusion, make sure you check out some other episodes. I've got a Latte Art 101 series for some basics. If you like what you see, just click subscribe because I've got a lot more videos coming your way. And as well as all of this stuff, I also roast coffee. So you can check out coffeefusion.com.au and when your hopper is next empty, you can grab yourself some really nice coffee. Thank you so much. If you have a pour that you'd like to see a tutorial for, put it in the comments below, but I'll see you next time. Keep frothing.